Hey, it's your girl, Corinne. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> you want a good laugh? <laughs> you want a good laugh, don't you? <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. This is ridiculous. Um, if you saw my last video, which was my bullet journal video, you would have seen that I am into bullet journaling now and I suck at it. Um, and I went to take the minimalist approach, the minimalistic approach. Um, what ended up happening to that journal is, do I have it with me? Of course I don't, because Corinne's organized, never. I ended up going wicked hard in January, like my 2020 setup. And it was no longer minimalistic, it didn't match my journal, and I messed up so much that I had to just rip it up. And I'm really thankful that I haven't bought these wicked expensive bullet journals that all these other girls have, because those are like 30 bucks each, and ain't nobody got time for that. So I have my $4 new, bullet journal yes i bought another one at michael's michael's has all of my money that's what she said ha. i don't get it luckily this is super inexpensive this only cost me four dollars uh this bullet journal i'll link um i'll put the brand below in my description in the link to it uh, i'm not endorsed i'm not endorsing michael's i'm just letting you know where i got it from in two months i've gone through four bullet journals because i was so upset about what they look like I have a problem. This one is super minimal, super minimalistic, and I am obsessed with it. I will show you it now, if you're interested. On a 2020, I'm so excited. So if you hear my daughter or any of her toys, um, I apologize. <laughs> so here is my 2020 bullet journal. Um, I am obsessed with this color. Wow, trash, love it. Gotta love washi tape. Um, so this is my 2020 bullet journal. I'm super excited. So when you go, okay, now I have more of a crinkle. I should start just doing ASMR. Yeah, so these are where I put my pens, by the way. How funny is this? <laughs> Why would I go get a pen bag when I can use a plastic bag and call it a day? Oh, that's why, because the pencil comes out of it and it rips. Okay, <laughs> moving on. So here's my 2020 bullet journal, super simple, just says 2020 obviously. I got these gold paper clips at, um, what is it called? Staples, because I'm obsessed with them and they're super cute. Um, here is my little opener to 2020, it's a note to myself. It says, years go fast, remember to take it all in, learn to breathe and let go, be patient and kind. Selflessness is the key to happiness. You do not need to react to everything and remember to love the ones you love. Or remember to tell the ones you love that you love them. Good talk. I can't read. I also spelt remember wrong, but moving on. Super chill. So now I have my index and I have my key. Uh, I created both myself. I am obsessed with the gray brush pen that I put um, for my titles. Um, task is a dot. X is when a task is completed. Um, crossed out is when a task is canceled. A um, open circle as an event. Um, this is migration um, <laughs> when there's like an arrow thing. Um, and then a exclamation point when it's important and a square is for my water intake. And of course that's my daughter yelling if you can hear her. My index, um, more index pages. Now on to the year at a glance, my 2020 year at a glance. Super simple. I'm obsessed. I'll never do it again though because it was the biggest waste of time. I never turn back to this. Okay, my daughter's yelling. Hey, Ray. Rusty got me all wet. All right, can you go back in your room, please? Mom will be in there in five seconds. I'm gonna go change my shirt. Good idea. Okay. I never use this page. I don't know why I even did it again, um, but it's just cute. It's a good visual. That's what she said. Now onto my future log. I love this. Um, I use simple black grays and obviously there's white paper and white gel pen as well for my future log. Future log. My goals for 2020. Um, and then I did my bills tracker. I love this bills tracker. I do January to December, obviously. I had my rent, daycare car, um, my car insurance, my credit cards, electricity, hospital bills, and health insurance. Also my debt overview, because um, I would like to get rid of all of my debt by the end of 2020 at least. <laughs> um, so there's that. 
Now on to my January setup. I did not do a, you know, cover page, I guess you would call it. A lot of people do that. I just, I'm not artsy, so what's the point? Why am I going to waste it? So I have my monthly overview, so all of the days this month and then the, the events that are going on for those days. My trackers for January, I track my relationship, my mood, my sleep, ASMR and meditation, also me reading to my daughter, Ray. I am obsessed. Okay, you go potties. <laughs> I'm on the radio, so I have my radio log for January. Um, posts on Instagram, I'd like to post every single day. Oh my goodness, are you okay? I will in a minute, thank you. Oh my goodness. I have my posts on Instagram because I wanna make sure I post every single day on Instagram and I track that. Also, I have a gratitude log. Also, I have my meetings for my pro-life um, nonprofit organization that I work with. Um, and now on to my weekly spread. This is my weekly log. I am obsessed with this. I forget who I got this from, but it's super minimalistic and chill. Uh, nothing crazy about it. And I love it. I track my water intake, as you can see right here. Here are the little squares. Sometimes I forget to fill it out, though. Like today, for instance, I know I drank more than just two bottles of water, but... I forgot to do that, so I need to fill that out. But yeah, there's that. And then I have random notes. This is where I'm accepting that just letting me brain dump is fine. I didn't necessarily write brain dump on the top, but I know that this is just straight up brain dumps. Now onto my January uh, spending tracker. I love this uh, layout. I have the date, the description, the amount, and the notes. So that way I can kind of track what I'm spending because I really want to make sure this year that I am not wasting money and I'm saving money. Also January bills, the amount that's due, what the bill is, when it's when it's due, and if I paid it or not. Um, I have my grocery list. I know it sounds ridiculous to put it in your bullet journal, but I am horrible at the grocery store. I literally will go there with this mindset of what to get and then I forget like five different things and it ruins my whole day, because how am I going to make tacos without sour cream and salsa? Who does that? So that's about it. And I'm really excited because at the end of January, I'm going to have a January review to go over my month and what I liked and what I didn't like and what I can improve on. Um, what I love about the bullet journal is just being able to track what's going on in my life and not journaling every single day in the sense of like, you know... I'm feeling this way, or I'm feeling that way, or dumping out all of my feelings. I feel like the trackers are simple, easy, and ways for me to look back and say, oh, wow, okay, so this is why I'm feeling this way, and maybe I'm not getting enough sleep, maybe I'm not meditating enough, um, am I spending enough time with my daughter? Um, I like the trackers, they're easy, simple, and I'm not having to write every single day what exactly I am feeling. I don't know if you noticed that I painted my nails, but like a little second ago, you guys obviously don't know, but my camera died and my daughter made me paint my nails while the battery was charging. <laughs> so that's it. I am obsessed with my new bullet journal and I hope you are too. I hope you follow, oh, I burped, follow along on uh, my channel. My channel is full of just craziness, wackiness, uh, me trying to get my ish together and failing miserably, but sometimes I do a good job of it, which is not getting rid of this bullet journal yet. Yeah, like and subscribe. Okay, cool. Bye. And I'm thinking about doing ASMR soon, so this should be funny. <laughs>